I wanted to do something today for you guys that people have been doing for me. I wanted to prophesy over your life today. I said it about you. I said it about you. I said. I wanted to prophesy over your life today. I wanted to speak words of life over you on today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, I said it about you. I said it about you. I said. In the Bible, it says that Elijah was told by God to speak to the dry bones. Hey, I said it. Okay, I said to speak life into the dry bones. Now, why would God send Elijah somewhere? where everything was dead and why would he tell elijah to open up his mouth and to speak over the dry bones hey i said it up boy i said because there is power in your mouth there is power in your tongue hey i said it up boy i said okay i said it up boy i said I want to speak life over you on today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to come against every plan, every attack, every witchcraft, every hex, every curse, every spell, every plan, every strategy. I said it, I said it, I said that Satan has planned against your life. We now cast it, we cast it out. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I said it, I said it, I said it, I said I want to say right now over your life, and you said with me, open up your mouth. Tell Satan, Satan, you have no room in my life. You have no right to my life. Right now, at this moment, we renounce every covenant made, known or unknown to Satan. We renounce it. We cancel it. We call it boy. Hey, I said it up, I said it up, I said We cry out unto you, Father. We ask for forgiveness for our sins, for our transgressions. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. Hey, I said it up, I said We thank you, Father, that you awoke us today. You gave us this chance. I want to prophesy over your life that you are the head and not the tail. I want to prophesy that you have wealth. You are prosperous. You belong to the kingdom of heaven. You are a child of God. You have a mission. You will complete that mission. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said it like I said. I want to tell you that you are not weak. You are strong. You are an overcomer. You are a warrior. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that ever came against you, you fought back. You kept going. You didn't give up. You still breathing. You didn't take your life. You didn't take the easy way out. You wasn't a coward. I said it, I said it, I said it. I want to let you know today that your mind is a battlefield. I said it, I said Your mind is a battlefield. I want to let you know that good exists and bad exists also. I want to not let you know that holiness exists and wickedness exists also. I want to let you know that your mind is a territory of a battlefield. That's why you get good thoughts. That's why you get bad thoughts. But in the Bible, it says that we shall cast down every high and lofty thought that comes against the knowledge and the wisdom of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Any bad thoughts that you're thinking when you're thinking, I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm broke. I want to kill somebody. I'm going to kill somebody. I'm going to kill myself. No, 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 no. That is not from you. That is not true. That is not your mind. That is not your thoughts. That is the enemy. That is Satan and his demons. Playing demonic thoughts into your mind. But when you're pondering, how you said it like a da 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 When you're pondering, I am blessed. I am highly favored. I am grateful. I should pray. That is the spirit of our living God, our living Father. Hey, I said it, okay, I said it, I said, God is alive, honey. And powerful, all powerful, all knowing. That is the spirit of God speaking to you. And his angels. 
I want to speak over your life that you are going to make it out. I want to speak that you have a great destiny. I want to speak that you will fulfill God's will for your life. I want to speak that you will go into repentance. Repentance is getting down on your knees and asking for forgiveness. I speak over your life that you accept this message. I speak into you that you hear me clearly. Hey, I said it. Okay, I said it. But I said I speak that this word will convict you and cause you to cry out unto God. I speak right now in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit be set upon you right now in this moment. I pray right now that God's glory cloud come and rest on you right now. Hey, I said it. Okay, I said it. But I said in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, we rebuke. You in the name of Jesus. I have said it like I have said it. Again. You have no rights to our life. You have no right to my life. I do not belong to the kingdom of darkness. You do not belong to the kingdom of darkness. Come into the light. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I have said it like I have said it. I have said it. In the Bible, God said, that he desires to send us to the dungeons, to the prisoners, to those who are bound in chains to loose them. Come out of the prison right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, I said it like I said, come out of that prison right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, I said it like I said it, I said, I'm speaking over you right now that the chains are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against those chains with the blood of Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Break loose in the name of Jesus. Break loose in the name of Jesus. Break loose in the name of Jesus. Come out. Don't you stay back. Don't you stay back. The door is open. Come out. Fire on your face on today. God is setting you free. Hi, I said it. Okay, I said it. I say thank you, Jesus. Had it not been for a prophetic word, my soul would not have been saved. Your soul is being saved right now today at this moment. Come out of that prison. Drop down to your knees. And you thank God and glorify him. Thank you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, over your home, over your family, over your car, over your finances, over everything that you touch. I, I pray that everything you touch, that it prospers. I pray that everything you touch turns into sevenfold. I pray that you are strong. And that you go forth to do God's will. I pray that you continue on your journey. I pray that even when you fall, you repent and you get back up. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.